Switch or something. Is it all mine? Looks like you took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. Generations, even. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Door, tunnel, whatever. Here we go. There's a pentagram. Oh God, oh God, it's here, it's here, oh God. Bee cigarettes, the only thing lighting our way. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to prank their own and their neighbors. And why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you were part of this town. Contributors. So we could just leave? He brought you down here for a reason. 
He's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Kidnap that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I've seen this. Or I've felt it. Was Ed Scruder and Jim Dorney who found it, 20 years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then he got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole. Copper, abandoned, shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. And that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through the wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. Schwat brought you down here. black goat not even the black like the color black like the space between the stars he's down there in that hole looking up at us right now he don't talk to you he sings you gotta understand in those days it was the end of the world jobs gone our kids were leaving. Government didn't care. Only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations. Sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. While we worked ourselves to death. We prayed and prayed up the church. When Ed Scooter came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. Ones it takes a shining to, it rubs off on you can do things. I never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First one into the hole by our own hands. We didn't own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw him in the hole. They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing. And someone's turn to find someone. Nope. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, 
and delinquents. Ah, oh, Bruce. The Hartley kid. All he was going to contribute to society is a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. It was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. You killed Casey. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Minds are going to be humming again someday. Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the French benefit of good health, we need new blood. Blizzard of 2010, that's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back, the kids never come back. Everything crumbles, Possum Springs bleeds to death, and soon we'll all be dead, and this town will just be fields and trees. I have seen it. Well, I could bullshit you. I just don't trust you.
it's hard to explain it right, but like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which is what had happened like a long time ago. Or how they remember or like picture it. And things it gave them. It's okay seeing that kid at Harvest. And sorry, I lost it. They're sad. It's all really sad. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. Third time in two days. Let's find out. You, you want me to go first? All right. Sink hall. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long, hiding, or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off. And everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. Pretty amazing to be something. 
at least. Here we go, we're back at Lost, Lost Constellation again. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not, 